Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we helped a good doctor get his wagon back from some assholes. And now we're gonna go see what John wants us to do for the Greys. We helped out the Braithwaite's burn the Greys fields. So now I just suppose I'm gonna help the Greys do something equally bad to the Braithwaite's. They don't like each other very much. It's a Hatfields McCoy situation. Horse flesh for dinner. Can I help you? Oh, well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. <laughs> Some servant quarters for the staff stays. It's a living, I suppose. Or can't farm hands civically were given a place to live on the property. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. Stop using my name. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. Hmm. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Huh. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. <laughs> Go to the stables on the south side of the map. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Okay, let's let's go steal some horses. Passing you. Go on. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? Yep. The man was cursing the Braithwaite about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. 
They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But forget even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Time we gotta play this. Place is well guarded. So there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. It's always fun to uh, get into trouble. Killing, stealing, you name it. It's fun. Don't be doing it in real real life, people. That'll, that'll get you in trouble. A lot of trouble. Save it for games where consequences don't matter. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a... An appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Look, head on up to the stables. I don't think there is a Mr. No, there's a Mr. Braithwaite. Better. No, that's right place. Never mind. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Oh, uh, their crops. Their crops. Their crops aren't exactly in great shape either. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. No rifles, pistols only. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. Greaser? We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. 
What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's... Here you go, boy. Uh-huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need... Nobody recognizes us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. You're tough, dude. Easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, whoa. Easy. You hit the wrong button, I'm sorry, horse. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Easy then. Easy. Easy. You're okay. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. It's all right, boy. <laughs> Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Where am I going? I can't quite see. There we go. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What? Come on, it's okay.
Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Keep a gun ready, just on the off chance they're gonna turn on us. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <laughs> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans Neither do the other Z, I don't think Maybe. it does. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. So if I'm looking to steal a horse, I can sell it there. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Take what you can get, I suppose. This is a, that would be a shorter one. Let's see what my boy Dutch wants. Oh, Mr. Vanderlyn! Ooh, fishing. You know what? Sure. Fuck you, Dutch. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? But we won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. I believe, uh, believe he thinks she's Irish morning, anyway. Arthur. Good morning to you. Oh, yeah! What are you doing? Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish for you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Video. 
You and me again, girl. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their breakfast. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. No. Yeah, come on. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, hey. Yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. We have to run. We'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. In Dutch. Well said. You don't feel like, well, that he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is one without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, yeah. Maybe you're right. Just in case we run into some degenerates. We'll cut through to the right here. River, I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee it runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Uh, Spanish isn't that different, Javier. And have you seen fucking okay, German? Down the hill here. Good lord, German is a clusterfuck of a language. Arthur! Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way. That is some proper fishing etiquette. Try me a good old worm. It's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. Yeah. It's a bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. 
I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of my... Here. Crickets. I don't want crickets. Crooked lawman in Reno. We open the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends. Really? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I heard people talk about a huge small mouth in Lake Man, I just can't catch a break. I can't. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Okay, let's try for another. I mean, seriously, they just... Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You are beginning to piss me off. This is an angry one. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. You got one. Make sure he's tired before you reel in. Make a nice meal. It's a good sized bass. Because of the bugs? Yeah, they only feed in the morning and evening when it's cool and the bugs are out. So maybe we try a few more, then head back. Fine with me. Another one. Come on. 
Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Tempt him a little. Let me get out of your way. Slowly. Slowly. Just the fate. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. That was fun. Hard to believe I'm going on. This is episode 51. Long game. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I see what Dutch has in store for me. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.